How's it going, folks? Robert Big Man Evans, and as always, my wonderful friend Robert Milliken here. Hey guys. Uh, one of the things when we talked to you, when we asked you last week, uh, very nicely, uh, well, I was nice, Robert was. That's true. Stuff. Yes. Um, we said, one of the things that came up on uh, the video was the projects going on here right. in Cedar Park, Leander, that kind of stuff, the redevelopment project. So we wanted to start with the one that actually I think is closest to the two of us. We both live yep. in Cedar Park. Yep. Um, I know it's really close to me, is the Bell Boulevard redevelopment project. Now, if you don't know what that means, if you don't know those words, put in those right. sentences. But essentially from Cypress Creek on Bell Boulevard to Park Street, just north of Park Street, that entire stretch of, it's gotta be less than a mile, right yeah um is going to be completely redone over the next five to ten years right uh, it, it's it's for cedar park it's being driven like all things ta good old-fashioned taxes right? right money right money. cedar right. park wants more money from yeah. the existing businesses it can't do that without the redevelopment so it's going to redevelopment uh one of the things and i told robert this i found interesting as i was reading through and i'll put the actual redevelopment packet from the city i'll link it down below so that you can download it and read all you want about the history this has been actually started back in 2014 mm -hmm. it this is 2019 is just when it's going to start the physical stuff's going to start but one of the things i found interesting is that when the city decided to do this they, they said okay you have three options we're going to do it with you we're going to do it with with you somewhat and we're gonna do it without you none yeah. of the list was we're not gonna do it but hey I'm not the city of Cedar Park whatever works so uh, let's you might you want to take a look at this Robert yeah let's take a look Pull we up. got the best map we could find and that's not the one in of course I left the wrong one up there we go so on the left you have existing right this is existing right here this is the existing 183 Bell Boulevard right this is what it looks like today. On the right, you have this is the rendering of what it is. And essentially, if you're familiar with this part of it, you know that at Buttercup Creek, there's a Goodwill right, right there. There is. Okay, so the, the road of old 183 splits off from Bell Boulevard, goes in front of that Goodwill, follows behind the current restaurants like Mooney's and, and stuff like that, the Mexican food restaurant, the barber shop. That street, old 183, just splits off from Bell Boulevard for that half mile. Yeah, it runs parallel to the current Bell Boulevard. Crosses right. Park and then connects back to Bell. Correct. Right? Yep. So what they're doing, if you look at the map on the right, they're essentially getting rid of Bell Boulevard, Bell Boulevard during that stretch. They're going to veer it off into old 183 and then bring it back to Bell on that back side. What that does is allow them to essentially crush everything right. that's to the west side of it and redevelop it into parking lots, retail space, the, the amount of stuff. Now, the good part about this is when they do projects like this, you can also see on here, it's got Buttercup Creek natural area and stuff like that. There's a there's pieces of this that are currently, I, I, I guess they call it just wildlife areas, right? That are undeveloped natural areas of Cedar Park, right? Right, right there at Brushy Creek and that kind of stuff. And by doing this project, they're going to take that undeveloped park-like area and turn it into usable park space. Which Trails. it is not currently. Right. Yeah, I mean, you can't yeah. walk Brushy Creek right now, you know what I mean, that kind of stuff. So they're going to turn it into parks and stuff like that. All the bigger buildings you see on the right are parking spaces. What they really want, and they use this over and over because the domain in North Austin has been so successful. Right. They want a domain-like walking around. That's right retail area yes. right the more retail area they have the more taxes they bring in right and robert and i both live in cedar park and you were talking robert before we started something about there's not a lot of you've lived in austin more longer than i have there's not a lot of retail type space in austin or yeah, in we're, cedar park we're largely a commuter city commuter yeah. town uh, you know people go out of cedar park to work to a large degree mm -hmm. they go to round rock to dell or they may go into austin uh, but there, a lot of those individuals are not working here in Cedar Park, and I think that's part of this project is to create office space, new office space that can attract companies to base their offices mm -hmm. in this development. And mm -hmm. of course, there are other developments going on uh, in this area, both between, you know, Cedar Park and Leander, um, that would accomplish that as well. But that that is absolutely part of. The goal here is to build these office spaces and have people that can contain their day mm -hmm. inside Cedar Park. 
Well, and you keep it inside Cedar Park. If we can keep the development in Cedar Park, you keep your... Um, you keep your tax yeah. dollars here. You keep your exactly. You keep you know, it all. Whether that's whether that's generated from the business or generated from you know you going downstairs. This development will obviously have um, you know restaurants, so you can literally walk from your office, go downstairs, and and feel like you're out of the office, but you're you're actually actually able to eat lunch right there in your location. So all of those tax dollars stay in Cedar Park. That's the goal. Um, instead of giving those to these other cities where people are having to get in their car, drive mm -hmm. 20, 30, 40 minutes to work, whatever that may be, and then spending their daily tax dollars somewhere else. So that's a large, I say a large part of it. It's probably pretty much all of it. Well, I mean, yeah. and you, look, Cedar Park is a landlocked city. Right. Right. Meaning that they cannot annex any further. They can't get any bigger. They've got Austin on one side, Leander on the other side, Round Rock on the other side. Right. They can't get any bigger. So they, and they knew this 10 years ago. Right. Right. So they've had to come up with inventive ways. And typically that is redevelopment and growing up instead of out, meaning building, build, right. you know, like this, where they can put some sort of apartments. There's actually going to be some townhomes as part of this development. And either they want this little area surrounded by as many people as they uh, sure. possibly can so that they can use it. They Look, they did this over at the Round Rock Outlet when you first went. They built the outlet and then they built God knows how many apartment complexes and townhomes yeah. around it, right? Just because the land was there and that kind of stuff. So right. they're going to do the same thing here. This is the best picture I could find that gives you kind of an end result look where you've got, this is where it splits off into Old 183, this is where it comes back into Bell Boulevard, and you can see the walking part here is what used to be Bell Boulevard, right? And then these are all the buildings and that kind of stuff. It should look really nice when it's all said and done, yeah. but like most growth, it's going to be a pain in the butt till it gets there. Well, there are going to be, I mean, there are going to be people that are displaced as far as businesses, and, and that's never, mm -hmm. you know, that's never a pleasant experience, and, um, you know, I, I hope that, that the city is got a plan to help take care of them in some way um but you know we'll uh, we'll growth see. is inevitable austin is growing uh, it's going to continue to grow all forecasts have us almost doubling our population in the next 20 or so years well but while this is going on we'll, uh, it'll it'll hit that 50 percent mark right? oh sure like while this development is happening cedar park will grow even without being able to grow geographically Correct. We're going to grow demographically, right. and it, we just don't have a choice. We're actually going to try and sit down with some of the business owners that may be displaced, see whether they're going to be able to come back. That was one of my biggest questions was to the people that are being essentially kicked out or moved around or whatever, what, did the city give them the option to come back into right. business, right, or that kind of thing? Can they survive long enough between the time that they're getting kicked out and then the new building is built. Right. You know, those are all questions. So we're going to try and see if we can get some of those answers for you. We're going to talk about this is only one of two big projects going on yeah. in Cedar Park in the next couple of years. We're going to talk about that other one, the one coming in Round Rock and the one coming in Leander that are both very similar type of projects to this. They're trying to accomplish the same thing, a domain-like yeah. walking retail area That's right. for these places. So if you want to talk about anything else, you have questions about this, please comment down below. There's going to be a link down below so that you can reach out to either one of us. Um, and we'll talk about the other stuff. Yeah, no, uh, please let us know. Anything that you guys are looking to get information on or you're curious about, you know, just comment below, let us know. And I'll let you know that the uh, time frame for this project is hope they expect to start later this year, 2019, mm -hmm. and they hope to finish it 2022, 2023 is when they expect all of this to be complete. Um, we'll see how they go. And, well, we know Pull the city off. always gets it <laughs> they done always on time. They always get right? it on like, time. That's right. Cities and governments get yes. those things done They're on known, time. They so are known for that. Count yeah. on it. No. No. Okay. So, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks, Thanks guys. Appreciate it.